All right, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV. Uh, just to give you an update on the transfer activity at Arsenal, or should I say the lack of transfer activity, but um, it's all about players going out at the moment. Uh, Kieran Gibbs has left. He's joined the uh, West Bromwich Albion. Good luck to him. Um, he's gone for £7 million. About a month ago, we turned down a bid for £10 million, and now Gibbs has gone for £7 million. But good luck to Kieran Gibbs. Um, he's been a good servant for us. We had a lot of injuries along the way, or maybe he would have figured a lot more. But I'm really hope that he has a, a great career at West Bromwich Albion because he, he didn't really do nothing wrong. It was really injuries that set him back. But it's just about players going out. We're hearing that uh, Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, that an offer of uh, around about £35 million has been made by Liverpool. We know, of course, that he turned down the chance to join Chelsea. It's Liverpool where he really wants to go. He wants guarantees that he can play in the centre of the park. And uh, looks like Liverpool have agreed a deal with him and uh, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain will be joining Liverpool. Um, that's the speculation at the moment. Nothing confirmed, but it looks like by this time tomorrow, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain will be at Anfield, will be a Liverpool player. I've heard that he was a Liverpool supporter as a kid. Um, so, Ox is gone. Alexis Sanchez, £50 million bid for him turned down, but all the talk going around is that Man City are going to come back in tomorrow with a bigger bid, and uh, they're hoping that if it's £60, £70 million, Arsenal will take that. Arsenal, from what I'm hearing, will be willing to sell Alexis Sanchez if they can find some sort of replacement. If they can't, they may just hang on to him. It is a mess. There's no real rumours of players coming in, I haven't really heard anything today um, of any players coming in. Um, I was speaking today to a friend of mine who knows like a doctor that does a lot of the scans for the Arsenal players when they sort of, you know, they, it looks like they're going to be joining. And he said there's been nothing booked for any scans um, yet for Arsenal. That could change by tomorrow, but certainly at the moment, nothing, nothing coming in from what we can see. Um, and if something does come in, you know, unless it's a really big signing that really gets us off our feet, it's going to look like a panic buy. Um, Lucas Perez is still at the club. The Bucci's still here, by the way, guys. You'll be glad to know. I mean, it's an absolute mess at the moment. Um, I'm feeling really down. I know Arsenal fans are feeling really down with this transfer window. It started off so well. Kolasinac. Lacazette. Brilliant. We were buzzing. I was over. I remember I was on the tours in Australia and, 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 and over in China and I was buzzing. I was like, just a couple more. Little did I know that we'd be selling everybody. This whole thing since we've come back, oh, the squad's too big. We've got to sell. We've got to sell. We've got to sell. What are we? What's that? What are we? Sports Direct. A sale. I mean, I, I, honestly, I, I'm really... Listen, Robbie, <laughs> calm down. There's still a day to go. Um, we're going to be all over it here on um, AFTV Transfer Daily. So AFTV Transfer Daily special update. We'll be updating you all day tomorrow, uh, starting off with a show in the morning. Then we're going to be down by the ground. Um, so let's hope, let's hope something happens. Uh, thanks for watching.